Hey, hey! Welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore. Today, my friends, is the episode I've been dreading, the episode you've been dreading. This is the episode where we hopefully go for a bastion and more to the point to get ourselves a netherite upgrade template. If we can get ourselves just one of those bad boys, we can duplicate more into existence and then all we'd need to do is pop into the nether with a whole bunch of beds and we can start blast mining for netherite. So it goes without saying there are plenty of preparations to be done before we pop into the nether. We need to get our gold armor, we need to get ourselves some protection in in the form of fire resist potions and probably a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Oh wait, actually feather falling four. I seem to recall us having a feather falling two book for sale, right? We could buy ourselves a bunch of these, combine them together, get feather falling four and then chuck it on our boots and that should eradicate, well not eradicate, but mostly negate another way that we could die. So then my friends, if all of that sounds like your cup of tea, if you're excited for this upcoming action packed episode, the do be sure to head down beneath the video and drop a big old like rating. I'd really appreciate it. A massive thank you for all of you folks who have been supporting the series in the form of subscriptions, likes, and comments lately. If you're new around here, of course, do consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on my future content. If you want to go on further with your support, though, you can head on over to pythongb.com PC to check out my range of Apex gaming PCs. So, the only thing I've done since the last episode is I've gotten myself a whole bunch more firework rockets. In fact, we've got some right here and I figure what might be a good idea is if we were to put them in here just so we got you know a little bit of a backup I've got the one with a skeleton school that I've managed to get so far in this series I've got that on me because in the event that we find ourselves a nether fortress we might just be able to grab ourselves some more skulls we have looting three at the end of the day so we've got a pretty okay chance of getting ourselves some more so yeah I'm just trying to be as prepared as possible. Golden apples. Ah, you see, this would probably be quite a good idea to take. So I'm going to do exactly that. I think the axe can temporarily go away. We've got this for breaking stuff down. We've got this for breaking soul sand. We've got this for slapping people around. And of course, the almighty bow here for taking people down at range. And it's got power five. So we should be able to do something with that. What's our fire resist supply looking like? Oh, nice. Okay, so we've got a fresh batch here, in fact. That is pretty nice. Do we want to take potions of strength as well? I mean, maybe. And there is a chest plate. Hmm. I don't know. Would it be a good idea for us to take this? Only we would be sacking off a fair amount of protection, right? I mean, when it comes to chest plates, look at it. It provides eight armor value. The rest of it is less than that. We've got three, we've got six, we've got three again. So I figure what might be a good idea is if we have something else be gold. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the helmet? Maybe we need to make ourselves a golden hat. If we get ourselves mending and protection four on that golden hat, then we might actually be looking pretty good. The unfortunate thing is we don't have 30 levels. We've got only 17. But we might be able to sell a bunch of sticks and do a whole bunch of trading and get ourselves back up to 30 levels that way, eh? I know, my friends. I know. You probably think I'm faffing around a whole bunch. But believe me, it is always better to go into places over prepared than underprepared, eh? So we need, I think, four books and a few emeralds. And we should be able to get the feather falling gold done at the very least. So here we are. And here we are. We've actually got bang on enough. So here we are. One, two, three, four. Hmm, okay. So we're up to 18 levels now. I think what might be a good idea is if we go for the 30 level goal first, see what we can get on a golden hat, get some mending on there, and then we can start on the combining goal and getting some, uh, you know, feather falling on these bad boys. So it seems we may have to plant down a bunch of trees and get ourselves a bunch of wood. What's the easiest way of getting a bunch of wood? Probably two by two trees, let's be honest here. So let's grab ourselves a bunch of bones. We've got ourselves, oh, the axe, I put it away didn't I? Duh. <laughs> Any of you folks who have been watching my recent half-hearted hardcore live streams, you'll be pretty familiar with this process, eh? We've been doing a lot of trading on that world. 
in an attempt to get ourselves all of the gear that we need to better our survival chances on a half hard hardcore world. If you guys are interested in that, by the way, then check out the playlist link on screen. We're actually doing really, really well on there. We have survived, what, five, maybe six streams so far? And at two hours each, that means we have survived at least 10 real life hours on a world where we only have half a heart of health. I mean, come on, that's not bad going, is it, eh? And if I may as well, I just want to say a massive thank you for all of the amazing support on the streams as well. We've been doing streams pretty much every Wednesday and Saturday, and it's just amazing to see all of the support. So truly, thank you, my friends. Now, while I'm chopping these trees down, I figure we could shout out a few donations that we got since the last episode. Grat Reed with the $1.99 super chat. Thank you very much for that, buddy. And we've got OG Gaming with the two Canadian dollars and 79 cents. Thank you so much for all of the support, buds. I really do appreciate it. So, the trade sesh commences. Let's get ourselves a bunch of emeralds and a whole bunch of XP, although actually the XP, I think, is caught in here. Yeah, there we are. We have to do a little bit of a light trip fly into there to get the XP. Bit weird, but oh well. <laughs> Let's get ourselves a bunch of glass. Yeah. Lots of XP for your boy. Love to see it. We can trade some of our vast bulk of books away. Oh no, I just chucked them in there. That was a bit of a yikes. Anyways, we shall keep on going. Can I, like, Grab those books back, buddy. I'd really quite like to have them. Uh, right, now I can't get out. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? And here we go, folks. That's 30 levels obtained. Right, now let's go grab ourselves a freshly made golden hat. And we're going to see what kind of end chart we can get on it. Protection 4 is what I want more than anything else. Respiration 3, that's kind of poo. I don't need or want that, to be honest with ya. So, here's what I'm thinking. We do some dud enchants until we do get protection for. All right, very good. Protection for, there it is guaranteed. It didn't actually take that many cycles. Look at that, 26 levels still. We just need to have a bit of a snooze, let the traders reset their trades, and then we can get back up to 30 real easy like. Here we go, my friends. 30 levels has been achieved once again. So with Protection 4 guaranteed on our cap here, are we going to get something else alongside it? Uh, oh, okay, bit of unbreaking. I'll take that. That's actually pretty decent. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, we don't need Aqua Affinity. We don't need Respiration or anything like that. Just Protection and Unbreaking and Mending to make this into pretty much an endless golden hat. I'm actually pretty chuffed about that. Like, genuinely, I am. <laughs> That's brilliant. So there's our Mending book. Lovely. There is our new Nether Exploration Golden Hat of Epicness. And now we can get on on with putting some feather falling on our shoes. So there we are, feather falling three and feather falling three. Upgraded to feather falling four. Take off our shoes and see what we're looking like here. We need 14 levels. Oh, only like half a level more. We're going to be heading into the nether with a grand total of zero levels. Oh, that's going to be an interesting one, isn't it? So, here we are. There's the golden cap. There's our chest plate. And here we are. We've still got full protection for armor. Just one bit is gold. So we are essentially invisible to piglins. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. I do believe we are about as prepared as we can be. Full protection for armor. We've got elytra on our hotbar for a quick escape should we need it. We've got strength. We've got fire resist and we've got an, all of the weapons that we need and golden apples as an emergency backup. Oh man, <laughs> I'm nervous for this, my friends. Can you tell? Can you tell that I'm nervous for this? When I'm nervous, I over prepare for things. Oh, snap. Alrighty, I think we take our elytra and we go for a little bit of a fly. And we see if we can't spot ourselves one of those bastion things. I have a feeling we may have spotted a bastion already in the series, but I genuinely, for the life of me, couldn't tell you where it was. Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh, I am not looking forward to this by any stretch of the imagination. Here's what I think we do. I think we land over here. Oh, is it one of those uh, piglin stables ones? I think it may be. We've got ourselves a chest over there. Let's have ourselves a bit of fire resist and a little bit of strength, shall we? 
chuck those away so we've got nice clean inventory at all times and i guess we just sort of roll in uh ah, okay <laughs> there we go hitting a bastion for the first time in this series there's been at least a few times i've died in a bastion in a hardcore run so that's why i'm so nervous ah do we go at this from the top and just sort of work our way down i mean maybe right That'd probably be quite a good idea. Taking out this little brute dude here, that would also be a pretty good idea, I would suggest. And he's done! Epic! <laughs> Okie dokie. We don't have to worry about lava. We pretty much just have to worry exclusively, I'd say, about the hoglins and the piglin brutes. Those two are the dudes that are going to be doing the damage to us. So if we could just keep ourselves away from them. That'll be lovely. Ah, looks like that piglin brute was properly guarding this chest right about here. Right, any more brutes to be had? I'm not seeing any right now. They're just regular piglins, so we're pretty chill. Let's see what we got. A whole load of nothing, basically. Okay, right, uh, I heard a bunch of dudes and it made me a little bit nervous. Right, did they just like roll down to me? Nope, we're still fine. Golden carrots, that's pretty handy, actually. We can make ourselves some night vis potions with that. Glowstone, we can break that down. Make some glowstone dust, which will increase the potency of potions. So that's pretty handy. I should probably pick up these chests as well, actually. And I kind of made a boo-boo in that I didn't bring my axe with me. But never mind. Oh, sounds like they're getting a little bit antsy. Is it time to jump down to the next level? I think it might be. Let's do it. <laughs> I have feather falling. I don't have to worry all that much about fall damage anymore. I can just drop down to my heart's content. To an extent, anyway. Ah, oh, very good. Looks like we've got a little gold block here for your boy. <laughs> the matter if I do. So not much going on on this layer. I think it might be time to descend another layer. I still need to be careful of hoglins, though. I don't know where the devil they are. Okay. Uh, I think we're still looking kind of okay. Yeah, look at that. We've got some leather over there. I wouldn't mind some of that. Oh, no. Ah! Okay, that's just fine. We took him down at least. And that brute needs to go bye byes ideally. Where the devil is he going? I don't think it matters because I think he died. Yep, there we are, as evident by the XP. Ha <laughs> ha. Dude, I gotta tell you, Power 5, it's saving our lives right now. Like, truly, it is, especially against the Hoglins. It's just so good. Got ourselves a chest right here, which I guess is pretty good. Bone blocks, gold. Yep, not too bad. I might as well just sort of slice this up, actually. Break the chest. Pick up all the beautiful stuff. And be on our merry way, I guess. So here we are, my friends. We are now at the bottom level of this here Hoglin Stables structure thingy. Got ourselves yet another chest. In this one, we have another white right scrap. Don't mind if I do this, son. Right, let's slice this thing up, pick up the goodies, and again, be on our merry way. Oh, jeez. Okay, right. Okay. Oh, oh, you're getting a little bit antsy now. Uh, really hope that the other piglins are okay still. I think they're okay because they didn't physically see me take down that other piglin. <laughs> I mean, it all just goes back to that saying, doesn't it? What they don't know won't hurt them, right? <laughs> Oh, dear. Okay, right. So there we are. That's that particular area done. But there's still plenty more to explore here, believe me. If I could just get myself back up to the top of this structure, I might have a chance at getting that chest that was at the very top that we saw sort of very early on. Yeah, that one over there, folks. If we could get ourselves over there, see what's in there, we might have another upgrade template. I mean, that'll be pretty boss, right? Alrighty, my friends. Oh, hello. Just a box standard zombified piglin. All is well. Uh, we should probably have ourselves a second set of buffs on us here. Are we still okay? I think so. Let's have a bit of an explore. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, there's one of those guys right there. Uh, all is well. Don't fret about it. Don't even fret about it. Look at this. See? I'm a genius. I got out of that. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't even chasing me, apparently. Oh, brute. Where you at, bud? I don't know where he went, and I'm kind of terrified. Oh, there he is. All right. Oh, jeez. Okay, it sounds like everybody's getting a bit annoyed now. So let's just do a little bit of that. And you, my good sir, are going to go bye-byes. It seems like there's quite a lot of guys up there. 
What if I was to try to get myself over there and maybe try and take them all out? If I could take them all out, I might feel a little bit safer exploring the remainder of this place, okay? I'm just breaking some of these so I can make just a little rudimentary bridge. Here we are. Lovely, lovely. Better safe than sorry and all that, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! Look at all these fellas! Oh wow! Oh! Okay, 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 okay. All is well, all is well. I'm not freaking out. You guys are freaking out. Oh god, there's two of them after me. Wait, one of them's fallen off. Hilarious! Why did that not hit him? Ooh! Let's have a little bit of this, and I'm even gonna have one of these. There's a bit of a mosh pit going on, and to be quite frank, I don't want to die. Wow. Protection for armor. Definitely coming in for us there, my friends. Definitely. <laughs> All right. So now we've got 12 hearts of hell. Well, that guy's done. Uh, anyone else? Yeah, there's a couple more. You, my good sir, you are also dead. Wow, there is. Oh, no. I'm out of here. Oh, they keep dropping down on me. It's raining brutes, everybody. Uh-oh. Right. Yeah. Oh, he's fallen off. <laughs> he fell over. XP for your boy. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was actually a pretty small amount, to be honest. Uh, right. Hello? I think there's some more stuffs to be had up here, my friendos. If I could just have a little bit of an explore, though. Uh, without dying, ideally. Oh, look. There's chests. Oh, I knew there was more. I knew there was more knocking around somewhere. Right. My concern is piglins. I can hear them all around me, and I'm a little bit freaked out. Oh, no way. We've got pig step. Oh, okay. Okay, my grand. Okay. That's pretty awesome. And there it is. There it is. Mission complete. We did it. We've got the netherite upgrade template. We need only one, and then we can duplicate all the rest into existence. Ah. Oh! Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Right, we just need to get out of here now. It's as simple as that. We don't need two pig step records. We just need the one netherite upgrade template. There was one more chest though, folks. There was one more chest to explore. And I'd very much like to see if I could, you know, explore it a little bit. I think it was over this side, wasn't it? I know. I know, my friends. I know. I'm proper going full greed mode here, aren't I? But... I see chest. I want to see what's in chest. Okay? I'm a simple person. So once again, with the rudimentary bridge, this guy's probably going to get a little bit annoyed at me for exploring the chest. But we shall see what is waiting for us. Ah, oh, nice regular gold apple. Don't mind if I do. We just made back the one that we ate earlier. So there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially done. Our mission is complete. We've raided a whole bunch of chests here. We've got ourselves quite a lot of epic goodies, including our first bit of netherite scrap. By every stretch of the imagination, this has been a successful mission. So... I guess it's time to go home. Wait, that's the wrong way. We need to go this way. Yes. Needless to say, we can't call this complete until we are back home. Ha! <laughs> Compared to piglin brutes, skeletons, they're a bit of a pushover, aren't they? Why even exist? Why? <laughs> and here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, we have survived a bastion. <laughs> we did it, folks. We done did it, folks. Ah, oh, dude, to say that I'm happy is understatement of the century. There you go. Taking pride of place, my brand new golden hat of epicness. We are invisible to piglins with this bad boy, and we're nicely protected with protection four. I mean... Could this have gone any better? I mean, I know, I know. We probably over-prepared for our little trip today. But, you know, when you get to this point in the game, I don't want to risk it, okay? I actually really legitimately love this world. And I know that a lot of you guys do too. So, I'm not going to risk it, all right? It's as simple as that. So, what did we actually get? We got ourselves a couple blocks of gold, blocks of iron, a bunch of ingots. We got ourselves the almighty, the netherite upgrade template. We got ourselves a CD. <laughs> Yeah! I mean, come on! Not bad! Not bad, folks! Not bad going. So just before wrapping up the episode, let's go ahead and start duplicating our little template thingies here. 
There we have it. So seven diamonds, one bit of netherrack, and you can duplicate a smithing template upgrade thingy. So there we have it. We can get ourselves a bunch more and a bunch more. We're going to be needing quite a fair few. We need, what, four for the armor, five for all of our tools, and probably another two for the fortune and workhorse pickaxe variants that we've got going on as well. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that brings it up to 11. So 11 templates. That's all we need. Although, what would probably be a good idea is to have one in reserve as well, should we want to make any further netherite gear in future. But there we have it. We now have the ability to upgrade all of our diamond gear into netherite gear. I can't wait to have full netherite gear in this world, folks. I mean, at that point, we will pretty much be invulnerable. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. <laughs> Oh, we need to get to that point though first. We need to get ourselves a bunch of ancient debris first, eh? So, yeah, over the coming episodes, I dare say, we'll start on the netherite grind. For now, though, to wrap up the episode, we've got the comment of the day. Timmy Harkin says, hey there, this build is looking awesome. I have an idea for the middle of the circle. You should drain it and put a creeper farm down the middle so you can get gunpowder for rockets and TNT. Yes! Absolutely right. That is a really good idea, actually, because we do need a lot of gunpowder. And as much as we have ourselves a hostile mob drop trap farm hidden down underground, and as much as we can increase its efficiency over time by lighting up caves nearby, yeah, at this point, it's not producing a lot for us, is it? We're going to be needing lots and lots and lots of rockets. And if we're wanting to do the whole TNT blast mining thing, as opposed to bed blasting, which is, let's be honest, more dangerous, then yeah, gunpowder. We need it. We need lots and lots and lots of it. So yeah, maybe we could still have the iron farm as the centerpiece on the surface. And then maybe below, maybe we could just have ourselves a creeper farm sort of down below. That'd be quite a cool idea, to be fair. I'll have to see if I can plan both of those to be the centerpiece of this donut project, the donut industries, aquatic industries, whatever we're calling it. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting time. We've got some fun times to come in this series, certainly, especially now that we have ourselves netherite upgrade templates. So ladies and gentlemen, I think on that epic note, it is time to wrap up today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure to drop a like if you haven't already. I mean, come on, you gotta drop a like for us actually surviving a bastion and coming out the other side with the things we were looking for hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell of course if you don't want to miss out on my future content but for now my friends thank you so much for watching do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day thanks for all of your amazing support i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next episode Bye bye